hi everyone again. Uh, it's that time again, another update. Um, I had my birthday a couple of weeks ago as well, so I have picked one. Uh, I had like, a couple of presents and that, and I've picked stuff up with my birthday money. But I uh, had a nice present off my wife and the kid, my wife and kids. Um, another figure to add to the collection. So we've got this here. It's uh, a Nightmare on Elm Street one. I think it's um, from Freddy's New Nightmare because it's got the phone. Tom comes out the phone, I'm not 100%, but really, really great detailed figure there. Uh, his hat comes off as well. Very well can see that. It's pretty cool that. Quite powerful as well. But uh, yeah, got the claws and that and the phone and uh, try and get his hat on for you there. Got that little Elm Street sign as well, which is pretty good. But yeah, really, really great figure that. So uh, thanks to my family for that. Uh, sister got me this T-shirt, which is another great one. The usual suspects. It's got like. Um, Freddy Krueger, Leatherface, Jason Voorhees, Michael Myers, and Chucky Hyde around there. Really, really great teacher from my sister there, so brilliant thanks for that. And um, I also had a couple of books as well, bought from Amazon for my birthday money. Uh, one I've been trying, one I've been after for a while to read, supposed to be a good book, um, Nightmare Movies, the Kim Newman one, which is more modern horror. Um, you know, some good stills in it as well. Making wealth in London, the Beyond. You know, I just sort of cover a lot of things from the seventies, eighties, nineties. So. A couple of new ones as well in there. Uh, a couple of old books as well I've got here. Uh, Pictorial History of Horrors, horror movies. Uh, this does concentrate more of the older ones, sort of. Um, a lot more um, Frankenstein, the Wolfman, things like that. Uh, some some of the Hammer films and stuff in there, but mainly older films on that. Uh, another one here which I uh, used to read as a kid, I like to get from the library. Horrors, History of Horror Movies, still got in quite good condition, got slip cover, slip cover and that with that. But, uh, a lot more colour shots in here. Um, there's sort of the Roger Corman films and things in here. And there's a lot of um, stuff about silent horror as well, that, which is pretty good. But yeah, decent book you can pick it up. Uh, one of my favourite Hannah films there, Frankenstein and the Monster from Hell. Yeah, um, another great book there. Picked them up really cheaply, so great. Uh, now on with the films now. Uh, and he got four Blu rays this month. Uh, still a bit low on the old Blu-ray front, but don't really want to buy films on Blu-ray, they've already got on DVD. So, um, pick this one up, Haunting in Connecticut 2. I uh, picked it up really cheaply. I've got the first one, the first one was okay, so uh, I'll check that, see what that one's like. Um, Insidious Part 2. Um, I wasn't a big fan of the first Insidious, funny enough. I mean, I thought it was a good film, but it was not as good as I expected it to be. And um don't really know much about it. So I, thought, I saw it fairly cheaply, so I thought I'd pick it up. And um, a lot of people did really like the first Insidious, but I think it was overhyped a bit, really. But I will re-watch the first Insidious, then I'll probably watch this one straight after. I think I'll re-watch Insidious and see what I think about it, but uh, yeah, I will look forward to watching it anyway. It's a cheap pick-up, 90 pence paid for this, The Corridor. I don't know anything about it, I've not got to watch this one yet, but if anyone's heard of it, let me know. Um, one which I wanted to pick up, I wanted to try it up really good, Gallo Walkers, um, which is... Um, Wesley Snipes, um, it's like a western horror, really really good, I really enjoyed it, it's not as good as the trailer made it out to be, I, I was expecting it to be a really really amazing movie, but it was still a good, you know, a good sort of B movie, but yeah, it is, um, it's like sort of a cowboy hunting like undead, when the uh, criminals in the wild west they bury him, and then they come back to life as like zombies, they're called Gallo Walkers, and uh, he's out to uh, uh, like, hunt them down, it's a bit like a wild west blade if you like, so, uh. right, DVDs now, Quite a few DVDs. I did have a lot. For like my, you know, I used a lot of birthday money to buy them, but um, some of the ones were cheap pickups. Uh, the Basement. I think I got this one off the market, this one. Um, I don't know anything about that one at all, but. Uh, this one I used for my birthday money. Um, Evil Clutch. This is the French release of this. Uh, the American region one is going for crazy money. It's like £40, £50 pound for a second hand copy. So I uh, found this um, sort of pre owned French release on Amazon. I actually had to get it from France as well, but um, yeah, really, really good. Some great trailers on that as well for other other uncut movies. The label's called Uncut Movies, and there's a lot of other films that look very interesting on that. But uh, yeah, it was an okay film. I remember watching it on Bravo, and um, yeah, it was like a bit like an Italian version of the Evil Dead sort of. But uh, you know, it's not bad. Got a good bit of gore in it towards the end. So, a couple of oldish ones now. Um, never seen um, The Night Train to Terror, this is like a twin pack, Night Train to Terror and the Thirsty Dead Region 1 copy. Uh, Night Train to Terror, I suppose it looks like it's like an anthology film and it looks really good on the back, so I'll definitely have to watch that one. 
the Thursday that I did see years ago on VHS, can't remember that much about it, but not trying to terror, another anthology to add, and it looks really, really good. So, uh, another one here, picked up recently, called The Saint, or just Saint, which is a um, fairly recent film by Dick Mars, who did the Amsterdam. So I'm looking forward to watching that, it looks really gory, it's like sort of a um, bit of Santa, basically. But he's obviously like a saint, he's like, um, I think, uh, the Dutch sort of version of Santa. But he's like, uh, it's, I think it looks like a very gory, serious version of Santa Slay, really. But uh, it looks really interesting, looking forward to watching that. Um, celluloid Bloodbath, which is like previews from Hell 2, Madron's previews from Hell 2. I watched a bit of this, um, I'll definitely watch the other half, it looks equally as good as the first, really, t to me. So, uh, you know, I'll have to watch the second half of that, but... Um, now, great to pick up, say. You can get them really cheap as well, then, so worth picking up. Uh, another one I got off the market, Paranormal Entity 3. I've got the first Paranormal Entity, it wasn't that great, but um, oh, I'll check that out, it's only a cheap pickup anyway. Uh, the Brain That Wouldn't Die, which is an old one from, I think, it might be the 60s, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if the year's on there. No, not sure. I think it was the early 60s, I'm not 100%, but uh, yeah, old black and white sort of, sort of sci fi horror one. You know, you can never have too many of them ones. Uh, another one I got from my um, charity shop, I think they picked this one up from. I think I paid about £2 for it. American Evil. Um, not had that good reviews, really, but thought I'd pick it up being it was cheap. Uh, picked up World War Z as well. Um, another sort of big budget sort of zombie holocaust sort of type film, wasn't it? But I've not watched it yet. Um, I will get to watch it eventually. A really cheesy one I picked up now. I had this for a from charity shop as well for a pound. Uh, Raging Angels, which um, is really, really laughably bad. And it's got the worst CGI I've ever seen in any film. Um, if you have it on YouTube or anything, if you look for Raging Angels, look up the fight between the uh, the demon and the angel at the end, and it is so laughably bad, It's it makes it worth watching. <laughs> it was a really, really the worst CGI I think I've ever seen in my life. So... Um, there's an old Todd Slaughter classic now, Sweeney Todd, Demon Barbara Fleet Street. No, not a musical version, obviously, yeah, really, really old sort of sort of melodrama version, but uh got a few of these sort of um Todd Slaughter movies now and you know, they're sort of you know they're aging now, but they're they're good, you know, good fun films. Um. Uh The Lost Colony. This one looked quite interesting. Um it looks a bit like the blind tombs of the blind dead on the front, but it's supposedly about um rights sort of released on this island. I think it's set in the uh Viking era or something, and there's like these raids coming off. I've not really watched it yet, but I'll check that out. The one I have watched, quite liked it, not really a proper all out horror, but uh, Red Lights, which is the one about paranormal investigators uh, trying to um, sort of debunk this this fraud guy, it's supposed to be a fraud, um, played by Robert De Niro. I did enjoy this, it was quite slow, but I watched it on Netflix, so I'll pick it up because it was cheap. Uh, the one I picked up today. Found it in the local charity shop, being actually in my town, which was really good, yeah, but uh, Inside, uh, paid £2 for this, I think it's from the same people who did Martyrs and that, so i um, really looking forward to seeing this, I might check this film out after I film this update, but really looking forward to watching that, you know, like the other French horror, so. I got this one just to fill the um, the trilogy, to finish the trilogy, um, Ginger Snaps 2, Ginger Snaps Unleashed, which is Ginger Snaps 2, I've got one and three, so it sort of finished the trilogy for me, but I did like the Ginger Snaps movie, so I'll definitely have to watch that one. I'm probably going to get slated for buying this film, but I paid really cheap for this, so... Uh, the Fog, the remake of The Fog. I've heard really bad things about this one, so... Um, this will probably be on the shelf for a while before I watch it. We'll see, anyway. But, yeah, I heard bad things about it, but... Um, another um, Mario Barber film coming up now, which I haven't got many Mario Barber movies, but I picked this up, you know, relatively cheaply for... for uh, it used to be good for a lot of money. But it's the... Um, Black Sabbath, the Mario Barber collection on the region one. Um, this was going for like mad like thirty pound, and it like popped up for about four pounds. So I just bought it. I'd never seen it before, and um, it was it was a pretty good anthology, you know. Um, I'd not seen it before, never even seen clips of it or anything. But uh, yeah, I like the, um, the second story best one with Boris Karloff actually in it. But yeah, it was a decent little anthology. That not bad at all. Uh, three three pack now, region one three pack I've picked up. She's got the first three subspecies films on. I've got the fourth one um, on the shelf somewhere, and I um, bought that one first. But I have, I have seen subspecies one and two before, and I really like the series, so I'll pick them up. Uh, the Haunting, which I watched on Netflix and really enjoyed, like a Spanish ghost story um, to do with like sort of 
priest with a dark, with like a dark secret after doing like exorcisms or something to do with these girls who are healers, but instead of healing them, they made the people sick. And I think the, the priest like locked them away and that, and it's uh, yeah, I, I like it. It's a good movie. Um, one I used to have on VHS years ago, and um, really glad I picked it up. I bought, bought, paid, got this at my birthday money as well. Killer Party, which is like a slasher film from the eighties. Um, I know uh, Mood Six One Six is really really big on this. He loves this film. Um, it has got a great atmosphere. It's really really good. It's, it's quite light on gore, but um, it's a you know sort of a great sort of eighties slasher film. Uh, Raised by Wolves, this is like a fan footage um, film about a cult, like a crazy cult. I do quite like this film about crazy cults, so I did enjoy this movie. But um, yeah, it was okay, it was a bit Blair, it was like Blair Witch with a cult instead of a witch. It was okay if you like the sort of films, I quite enjoyed the film. But uh, uh, Classic spoof uh, horror now, Young Frankenstein. Uh, watch this as soon as it comes, I've been ages since I've seen this film. It's been on, you know, it's always on TV a lot, but um, I do really like it, it's one of the best horror spoofs I've seen. I can't believe I hadn't got it, you know, up, t up till now, but uh, brilliant, brilliant. Mel Brooks' is best film, I think, by far. Three Extremes 2, love the first one. Uh, haven't heard much about this one, but um, another anthology, definitely look forward to seeing that one. Uh, the Loved Ones, uh, this is another pick-up, because I heard it was quite good. You know, a lot of people have said it's a really good movie, so I haven't known much about it, bit of a blind buy. But. Uh, Hell of the Living Dead, which... Um, I found this on Amazon, uh, Amazon on eBay, sorry. £1.50 on eBay, the Region 1 um, Anchor Bay release. I thought, oh, it's a zombie film I haven't got, and when it came, I didn't realise it, but it was actually um, a zombie creeping flesh. But this is the full uncut version, so I've only got the rubbishy Vip Cole release of that, so this is like a really, really good version. And there's um, you know quite a few sort of little extras and things on it, so it's you know worth pick up, it's well worth £1.50. It's better than the VIP car release I've got anyway, so. Uh, one from the 70s now. The car. Not watching this one yet, but I've seen bits of it before on TV. Um, yeah, it was okay. Decent little sort of 70s, like a Christine type film. Obviously not as good as Christine, but. Um, another silent film. I'm trying to steadily get the silent, the silent collection up. A Cat and the Canary. Which I did watch this and it was really good. I really enjoyed it. Um, tremendous atmosphere and that as well. Great, great movie. Really enjoyed that one. Uh, Wasting Away. I think I paid a penny on Amazon for this. It's like a comedy, a zombie comedy about these people who um, end up becoming zombies and they don't realise it. And, um, yeah, they start doing things that, um, that you know, zombies do and things. And they, they think they're normal and people end up as zombies. It's like the other way around. It's quite a clever little comedy. You know, a decent one. Uh, great move to finish off with. Um, my favourite version of this... Punch back and Notre Dame, the Charles Lawton one. Uh, brilliant, brilliant performance by Lawton. Probably the performance of his career in this film is a great one. I picked the Region 1 copy up because the UK Region 2 copies are ridiculously expensive at the minute. So um, I think £2 something for this, two or £3 for this version. And it's uh, now there's a documentary on it and all sorts on this, which is really good. Quite a few extras on it. As the film's quite long as well, the film's a couple of hours long. So, uh, you know, brilliant, brilliant film anyway. Alright, so there's the update for you. Um, I'll get another one up in a few weeks. Uh, I've got Father's Day coming soon. I always get a little, some films or something for Father's Day. So, uh, all being well, I'll get an update then. Um, thanks for sticking with me and watching me to the end again. And uh, thanks to all the subscribers and the new subscribers. I had a few new subscribers. I'm uh, think I'm getting towards 70 now, which is pretty good in about a year. So, uh, thanks for all that, everyone. And um, I'll see you again in the next video.